Hello, everyone. I want to address today what are the main things that uh, decision makers have to address in order to communicate properly with uh, analysts or data scientists, for that matter. There are three main things why data scientists or analysts in general and decision makers might have uh, challenges in the communication. So the first one is that perhaps the, the analysts, the data scientists, are not that good at communicating the insights they have. And this happens sometimes because, well, uh, analysts, data scientists, they, they come usually from uh, a scientific background and they tend to communicate facts in a slightly different way as people in the business world do. Uh, the other reason why there might be a mismatch in the communication is because uh, the decision makers are expecting, well, it's the other end of, of the communication. Uh, they are expecting the communication in a different way. They're trying to see if they can get the, the insights um, on the first shot. And if they don't, well, they might ignore the insights. They might ignore the information. And then there is also the possibility that both of them are just communicating wrong. So the analyst cannot communicate properly what uh, the decision maker um, needs to, to know in order to make a decision. And on the other hand, the decision maker is not listening properly or is not uh, prioritizing in the right way the information that he is receiving. However, in order to improve this communication, it's important for the two parts to create a strong link. Once this strong link is created, then communication flows easier. So it, it's important that both the data scientists or the analysts and the decision makers come together and create this bond because once that this um, intimacy is created between the two of them, then the communication flows in a much better way. In the relationship between the decision maker and the analyst, uh, we tend to call them the data, data consumer and the data creator. And the role of the data consumer goes to the decision maker. Now, the decision maker has in this uh, role two main fundamental tasks. The first one is to create hypotheses. So the main questions that we have to answer. And they create, they come up with these questions, with these hypotheses based on their business knowledge. They understand the business environment and therefore they come up with uh, questions th in, that they want solutions for. On the other side, once that they get an answer, they need to be able to work with that answer and present that answer to others because they are a proxy, if you will, with other stakeholders in, in the organization. So they have to, they need to have the ability to receive those insights for, from the data creators, the analysts, and take that information and give it back to other people. So in able to do this, they need to learn a little bit the language of the analysts. They need to understand a little bit of statistics, a little bit of math. Uh, not a lot of it, but a little bit. And then the other thing is the attitude and also the expectations towards the, the analysts. So there must be a cultural shift in the way they interact, be able to translate their needs, and also to interpret those results to operate in a business environment.